Now let's take just a quick minute to go over cold relationships and how to nurture those. And we talked about it briefly in previous modules, but here we specifically want to talk about the website and the reel, which is really a combination of two things, and then social media. The biggest takeaway and the biggest thing you can do when you're getting started is be present, be there, be consistent, be uploading things, be keeping consistent so that people start to recognize that yes, you are not only producing work on the website side of things, on the reel side of things, but you're also keeping active in the behind the scenes look on Instagram, on any of the other social media platforms that you might be on. It doesn't really matter what it is. It's just about keeping consistent. It's about showing people that you're being trusted, that you're working, that you're getting out there, that you're being consistent, and you're continuing to get jobs because jobs will lead to other jobs. Even if it's not with the same people, uh, people see those things. They see that you're being active. They see that you're in the community. They're interested. There's lots of people out there like you that want to grow their own network. So if they see someone working inside the network that they want to or at the level just above them, they're going to want to reach out. And the earlier you can build up those relationships, the better it's going to be. So. Definitely, number one thing, uh, keep a presence. Stay there, get on a platform, get on your website and make sure that it's up to date. You don't have anything better to do. What else are you doing uh, if you're not out there working other than having the ability to go and look and update your website all the time? A new job comes in, boom, straight on the website. Uh, it has possibilities for uh, opening up things on the reel. Maybe you can get a few shots on there from the last job. That thing should be edited. That file your real file, as you're starting out, that should be the number one thing that you open on your computer. You should just constantly be updating that file. Boom, job on Thursday, it comes out Wednesday, put it on the real Thursday. Get it up, get it consistent, uh, and you're gonna start to find that you get results much quicker in the cold relationships if you're always active. Now, in saying that you have to be active, it's a double-edged sword because yes, you have to be active, but you have to be putting up stuff that you actually want to be doing because this is what you're gonna get known for. The quality of the work that you put up is the quality of work that you're gonna be associated with. So if you're, again, trying to do those spec spots or trying to make one or two shots in the corporate stuff that you're doing look a little bit better, a little bit heightened, share those ones. Don't share the shitty ones. Uh, it sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people go through this and they think, well, just because I'm posting lots that people are gonna recognize me, they're gonna to start to recognize the name and understand the quality, but no, the, the amount of people that are actually paying attention to you is so small. Right, that you want to give them only the best. So if they happen to come across you at that right time when they need somebody or they get recommended and they go to your Instagram profile or they go to your website, you got to lead with the stuff that you actually want to do. Hide all of the rest. This will continue and this will be a staple of your entire career. Only show the stuff that you want to do. If you're only doing uh, one particular area of commercials, like if you're only doing toothpaste jobs and you don't want to do tooth toothpaste jobs anymore, dump them all. Get them off your website, get them off your reel, get them off of Instagram. Uh, when you're dealing with cold relationships, you don't know where that person is gonna come from. You don't know the state of mind that person's in. You don't know if they're looking for toothpaste or if they're looking for Nike, uh, right? You wanna make sure that you're putting your best foot forward. So whatever work you put up, that's the kind of work you're gonna get. So be intentional about the kind of work that you're sharing. One of the greatest parts about social media is that you can show level increase. So you can share things that looks much higher quality Right? No one's going to sit down, uh, or at least not a lot of people that you know or that are just randomly in the filmmaking network are going to sit down and watch a three-minute corporate video. But if you share a couple of stills of that video that are slightly higher level than what you're working at currently, that's what you're going to get, start to get associated with. So do that. Share the high-level stuff. Dump the rest. So the big takeaway from the cold relationships is be consistent. The biggest one, be consistent. Be sharing stuff. Only share the highest quality stuff, right? You will be associated with whatever you share, so share the best that you have. Less is more, right? If you can't post on Instagram all the time because you don't have behind the scenes pictures or you don't have, uh, you can't show things that looks like you're really out there working, uh, just take a whole bunch and spread them out over time. Try to be consistent that way versus, you know, you don't always have to be on jobs in order to show that you're working. Uh, same with the website. Only show what the best stuff is. Uh, only show, only update when something is better than what you already have. Same with the real. Constantly be looking for areas of improvement, trying to identify those before the jobs, going out, getting them, and then updating them immediately. The real should be front and center. We're going to get into reels. We're going to get into websites. We're going to get into the whole, the whole business side of things uh, in the next chapter, in the business side of things. But for now, just know, be consistent, show only the good stuff, and less is more, right? Less is more. 
Whatever you show, you'll be associated with. So show the best and continue to try and level up. Show things, identify the target market. Right? You need to look on Instagram or on whatever social media platform or on your website. Who are the people that are coming? Look into the analytics, look into the traffic. Who's coming there? Why are they coming there? Where are they coming from? Uh, what kind of work are they looking for? What kind of work is it realistic that you could get in the next six months, in the next 12 months? And then identify those and start to really uh, carve out a path that when you have enough of the stuff, it's basically unstoppable. You've basically done all of the back work to make this person's job. When they reach your website, it should just be like obvious. Oh, this is the person for this job. This is the person for this type of job. This is the person I need at this particular level. It should be uh, very clear. And if it's not, take some time, go rework your website, try and come up with, try and understand the person that is going to be visiting your website, the producer, the director. Try and see it from their angle. Is it easy? Talk to your friends, ask them to look at your website. Does it make sense uh, that it's nice and easy to navigate and these are the best quality projects and this is where people are going to click and you can even make a heat map of your website. That way you can see exactly where people are looking, where people are clicking with the cursor. Uh, go through, take a little bit of time and just try and hone these skills.